Hello everyone. Uh, most of you probably know me as Kels Killer from TikTok until my page got banned. Um, I know there's a lot of confusion about the Toe 2 situation, so since all my videos are gone, I decided to clear it up in a long-term form video. There's only like one video on YouTube about the Toe 2 situation, and it's just some guy named like Gut Daddy or something. Just trashed my whole page, and all I have to say to you is just because you aren't smart enough to figure out Google Translate doesn't make me psychotic. So let's explain it all. So I first saw this video of Toju going around and um, there was text that said, this orphan was traumatized by her family and is now adopted by a new family who loves her very much as she's recovering. I was like, okay. And I followed along and it looked sketchy. What really got me interested in this is I came across one of their lives and it was just so clear that something was off. Totu had her back to a wall and was like looking around everyone scared and being told over and over to dance like a circus performer and the woman was like on the phone begging for people to donate live gifts and the woman's daughter was also there like forcing Totu to dance and all this stuff and they were playing Chop Slice by ICP like a song about someone and on the live it looked like it was like some sort of group home, like there was bunk beds, there was other kids, it didn't look like she was with a family. There was just a lot of weird, suspicious things, there was men, random men with videos of her, she was in like ads, I was like, this doesn't make any sense. So I figured out, she was at this place called Sevji Evi, and I looked it up, it's a, like a shelter, orphanage, I was like, wait, okay, so she wasn't adopted unless the orphanage owner adopted her. I don't know. This is weird. So I looked up the name, Sevji Evi, because I saw it in a sign in one of their lives. And um, I found several articles in Turkish and Azerbaijani that discussed horrific abuse. Locking girls in the showers for days with no food. Um, being assaulted by the owner's friends, male friends, being punched, hit, um, soaked in, like, disinfectant, their whole he their whole bodies, pour alcohol on their heads, light it on fire. Um, there, there was a video of two orphans that spoke about their experience, two credible witnesses. There was a criminal case that was um initiated and the like their version of cps looked into all this and they found markings on the kids several of the kids like oh, they would find dots on a bunch of the kids legs and i've seen photos of their face and cigarette burns um burns they had evidence beatings burns all over their bodies cuts everything so they shut the orphanage sebji evi down for eight months and Totu has lived there since she was 10 months old. And she's like two and a half-ish now. So she was there throughout all of this. The thing is, when all the other kids were removed from the orphanage, Totu never left. Because unlike all the other kids who didn't have parents with them, Totu's mother came with her and asked if she could stay at the shelter with Totu and they agreed to this, agreed to let her work for them. So this, they took all the other kids, taking them out of the orphanage owner's custody, but left Totu because she was technically in her mom's custody, still living in this home. She appeared to get worse, not better. They were always posting pictures of like sick kids and then they'd have their bank account up on the orphanage's page, asking for donations. It was very sus. Um, I speculated if it was like a Gypsy Rose type situation. So I dug in a lot more and the more I looked, the worse it got. There were many videos of her with strange men who were, appeared to be grooming her. They, She seemed to have like a word they would say or they could tap her chin and she'd open her mouth. It looked like she'd go into a trance, she'd do it automatically and while she was holding things like pickles, cucumbers. Since she was a newborn, I found videos of them doing this. Her the shelter owner, her son, had tons of videos with her where he'd be like making out with the side of her face. His eyes would roll in the back of his head, petting her butt and other orphans too. It was just way too affectionate for me. Um, 
three men flew from Istanbul to visit her. They posted videos alone with her. They forced her to eat this lemon. Um, she's visibly uncomfortable, and they're just all, like, watching her. It's very strange. The shelter owner, Kanol Gasimova, has a daughter and a son. The daughter is young. She still lives in the home, and she always has long hair. She always has toys. She's a healthy, normal kid. You go back and look at other orphans. They're all sickly, pale, always have shaved heads, patches of hair missing, bruises, cuts, black eyes, and you never see them playing with toys. It was very clear to me that there was abuse going on. And the more I posted about it, the more angry the shelter owner got, and she made posts calling me out and explained that the reason Totu looked like this is because of medical conditions. She said like 10 different ones, but overall it was like myopathy, encephalitis, ep epilepsy, autism, one leg shorter than the other, spinal issues. Did I say autism? Oh, she basically said everything. But those don't explain cigarette burns, grooming behavior, um, missing patches of hair, her looking terrified, and she never looked terrified, and she never had hair missing until she was about a year old. About the time when the shelter was investigated and shut down is when Totu suddenly got worse. So I kept digging, and it looked like they were making her look sick for donations online because they were always on live begging for donations, and they had just gotten all the other kids taken away, so they needed more income. She would be DMing people saying, oh, Toto is sick. We could really use some money right now. And so I was like, where's her mom during all this? Why is her mom never in any videos? What's going on? Where's her birth mom? Because her birth mom is supposed to be at the shelter with her. That's the only reason Toto's even there. Because I noticed she used to be in all the photos and videos with Toto. She'd be in the background. She'd be holding her. And while she was there, Toto looked a lot healthier than she did now. So I dug in more and saw that they were on a TV show like a Dr. Phil type show, and Toto's mom went on and said, asked for help. Basically, she said, I just got divorced from my alcoholic abusive husband, and I cannot take care of Toto. I don't want her. And the reason Toto had health issues is because of being domestically abused when the mom was pregnant. But it's interesting how none of those ever showed up until she was like over a year old. So on the show, the host calls Totu's dad and says, why can't they live with you? Um, so what can we do to save Totu from going to a home? And he basically says, that's a lie. Um, Totu's mom is not a good mom. She leaves for months at a time with or without Totu. We have another son who lives with Totu's dad and she hates him, refuses to take care of him. And so the host puts her in Sevgievi, the shelter. And on the show too, the mom says that Totu's dad killed their first kid. She's also pregnant. No one knows where that baby is. And she has four children total. And those two kids are, who knows where they are as well. So they go to the shelter. The TV host sends them until a few months later when she sees this viral video of the traumatized orphan with the thousand yard stare. And says, oh my God, what is happening at this place? I feel so bad for putting them here. I have to do something. And so she calls the shelter owner Choose her out, says, what's happening? Where's her mom? Why can't I talk to her mom? She goes, she, she was having a seizure. Um, she's just, she just has health issues. Why are you feeding her soup? You don't do that. If she's having a seizure. There's also videos flashing lights in her eyes, feeding her coffee in the middle of a seizure. You know, and even though she's on live all the time, no one's ever actually seen one. And then a few days ago, they go back on the show or they're invited back on the show. Only Canole goes to shelter owner. And she keeps the same story. She says it's not her fault. Totu just has health conditions. And makes a bunch of excuses. Calls her her burden. And I also found a voice note from Totu's mom's landlord who says, I'm Totu's mom's landlord. She is lying. She does not live at the shelter with her. They are both profiting off these videos of her online she lives in a room i ran out to her with her young boyfriend um she smokes she drinks she does drugs so it seemed like they were all profiting off to, to being exploited online fast forward to today i get banned from the platform for speaking about this and totu is no better off canole casanova the 
shelter owner is the daughter of a high-ranking official former deputy prime minister and it appears that nothing is happening with the previous investigation for child abuse because of her connections because there was a lot of evidence and they just keep saying it's being investigated be patient another man who visits her makes a sausage billboard for her and he messaged me and says why are you spreading false rumors i just called the sausage billboard weird and he said i'm not a human trafficker and i was like okay i never said that and then i said why didn't you do anything she's in an abusive home you could have helped her and he liked my message he was just being very weird wanted my number said I could come visit and I was thinking about it until all this other stuff happened. On the most recent episode of the show, the host said that she will personally pay for any costs that will cover Totu's care. That way she doesn't have to be on live all hours of the night dancing. And why is a sickly child dancing on live on Instagram and TikTok all night anyway? Her answer was her epilepsy causes her to not sleep for three days at a time. Um, the host says she is looking into the situation and that's the last update I have. There was a lot of like symbolism for th things that pedos are known to use. Um, that's more of your opinion or not if you believe that. Um, uh, I pointed it out because it was undeniable how common these symbols were around. Along with the context of everything else. The strange men, the visits. The grooming behavior, the mouth opening on command, it didn't seem that far-fetched to me. But I do realize those are not proven facts. There's a rumor she was on the dark web. There's a rumor she was a boy. Um, so take what take that with a grain of salt. It's just more speculation. But we do know for sure she's in the custody of a woman who abused children and still is. There was also her, her daughter's Instagram page also seemed pretty catered to a specific type of people again that's your opinion i personally thought it was very clear apparently some people don't see it that way either way there's something weird going on and it's scary let's look at the difference of her daughter compared to the other orphans look at the orphans before and afters they all come to this place healthy they look like normal kids, and a few short months later, they're covered in bruises, their hair is cut, they look like they are concentration camp survivors. I mean, the fact that anyone can deny this is incredible to me, but people were so angry that I was pointing this out that they got me banned. So, someone else who followed me, speaking with Canol for a long time, the shelter owner, and had con convinced her to let Totu fly over to America, and temporarily stay with her to receive medical care and so she had asked me to fundraise for this but then the catch was that Totu's mom and a staff member have to come along with her and so it fell through but I was looking into hiring foreign attorneys to navigate their their legal system and just see what our options are and then I got banned so I, I don't know what what to do now I don't know what's going on but that is most of the story there's obviously a lot more and hopefully that helps you understand a little bit